pasó, mi gente? What's happening? Second viewing of Doom 2 at the Cinemark XD Theater. Um, at the end of this video, uh, I'm going to connect you to our uh, panel discussion that we're going to have with Nerd Cookies and Danica, like the Dune, Dune ladies of Dune. They know it all. We have a fantastic talk with them. So I need to see this movie again. As you know, um, uh, from all my other talks of what I didn't like about this uh, film from the first time. Now I want to see if the movie has gotten legs, cinematic legs, because a lot of times we're wowed by uh, first viewing. It's like, oh my God, it's so cinematic. It's amazing that we forgive their uh, minor infractions on storytelling, which I thought were pretty, uh, pretty obvious, especially being a fan of just the book story. So we'll get back to you after we catch Dune 2, the second viewing. And I'll give you my honest thoughts. Let's get some popcorn. Ride the beast. Hey, it's not the popcorn infamous popcorn cup that everyone's getting, but it's a very long, cool, sleek, sl sl slender cup. Okay, so, um, right. Rewatchability, yeah. Yeah, it is a, uh, let, me see, let me see if I have to clean this. There we go. Dune 2 is an absolute cinematic spectacle. It begs you to watch it on a huge screen to just uh, be in awe of the scope of what you're seeing, of what you're hearing, of, uh, you know, it's beauty and uh, how frightening it could be as far as um, just from the uh, the score really on this one got a hold of me really got a hold of me and what that does with the score and with the cinematic effect is makes you feel more emotionally connected to what you're seeing which is fantastic I'm, I'm all for it uh, but it's interesting because a lot of people I see were like comparing it to um, um, Empire Strikes Back. This is the second one, right? Just like Star Wars. We had our part one. This is our, this is our part two. This is our Empire. Now, Empire what Empire has that this film does not have is a deep emotional heart. Is our true caring for the characters. I don't know if we care about these characters. I think, I think they do, I think the actors do a great job. I think uh, they have some great moments. Uh, and, and, I, and I, I actually found a couple of more moments that I thought uh, Timothy and uh, Zendaya shared that I didn't see before. But do I care about these characters? I don't think I do. I, I cared more about the, you know, the what I was watching and how Denny Venue was able to pull it off, which was magnificent. It was magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Um, yeah, so I, you know, that's what I'm getting on the second rewatch. And I, I, I want to know what you guys think. And I, I can't wait to have this discussion with Danica and uh, Nerd Cookies. We will put the link to uh, that video as soon as this one ends. Because when you're reading, when you, when you read the story, the original story, you don't have that problem. You really do connect um, with a lot of these characters. 
So, yeah, uh, that being said, the villains are fantastic. Uh, just doubling down, tripling down on the look and feel of Giddy Prime, the, the, Har the Harkon uh, Harkonnens, uh, Harkonnens. Uh, Austin Butler was just magnificent. Magnificent. And uh, Javier Bardem is equally just, just so, so 100% in on the, um, the prophecy. Uh, I, I did also see a little bit more of a kind of short-sighted modern take on as far as people who have faith and then people, you know, and, and how they're seen as fundamentalists and kind of almost looked down upon, made fun of. And that's not, a, that's not in the original story. And you can, you can, so, you know, I think there's, um, I think that's a continuing kind of bad, uh, bad mark of modern, modern storytelling. Everyone feels they got to make a, a message on, uh, you know, whatever the soup du jour is of uh, social uh, injustices uh, that are out there. You know, this is a, this is, this book goes beyond any of those and, and really speaks to uh, our faulty human condition and the worlds we live in with nature. So, yeah, I, that, that kind of glared out a little bit more. But look, you know, it's the second time I saw it. I got a lot more out of it as far as spectacle. <clears throat> I'm in love. If it makes sense, I'm going to wrap it up now. If it makes sense, I cared more, was more emotionally tied to the spectacle, the score of Doom 2. And not so much the characters. But I know what, want to know what you guys think. We'll have some more videos. Some Doom coverage you guys are digging. And now we're going to connect you to that video I was telling you about. Our panel discussion. On the, um, the, the connections to the book. Where they succeeded. Where they failed. With Danica and Nerd Cookies. Video is right there. Enjoy everyone. Take care, check it on the next video, make sure you are subscribed, and be so kind, if you want, super chat, super chat, peace.